Hi everybody and welcome to another video. This time I'm filming from my very own childhood bedroom and this girl behind me, that was a little me. This is what I looked like 30 years ago. I came to visit my parents with the kids and we're going to stay just a couple of weeks and because of that I actually didn't bring any soup with me because I thought I'm so busy creating my new book publishing business uh, that probably in those two weeks uh, stay with my parents stay with my kids uh, and writing I won't have time to create a video and there was in the back of my mind the idea that um, I do have some stuff there let me show you this is to say that of course I end up made, making a video and creating something I have this album that is from my Ag school time. These were the type of album Fabriano that we used to have at school. And this is smooth paper and it has a bunch of completely untouched white paper. I think this was a completely new and news one so i'm going to use one of these big sheet they are 220 gsm and 24 by 33 centimeter i also have some really horrifying brushes uh, but yeah we'll just make it work somehow i don't know why I have this color but I have three oil paint a green a red and white and apparently I even use it a little bit but I cannot remember why I have them I never use oil paint in my life I have my very trusty childhood watercolor set uh, last time my kids played with it so it is very dirty because my toddler is a messy painter also last time I was here I left the entire set of Artisa acrylic there are 14 inside I think I took back just the gold probably but I have lots of acrylic I have loads of coloring pencil here and here and there's so many more where this came from and I also find this very interesting Giotto box crayon they are really interesting uh, and I'm probably going to play with those a little bit. I'm not going to use uh, all of these, uh, but I have so much here that I can keep myself busy for a while. And if I want, I also find a spare canvas that was new so with my very old wood palette. For today's video, I decided to try the watercolor on one of these paper from this sketchbook. And they are quite big sheet and it was really nice to play with watercolor on it. Um, it didn't take water too well, but that's not something that has ever stopped me. And if it's the first time that you're watching one of my video, just to let you know, I do a lot of intuitive work. My work is very loose, very expressive. It's not very uh, detailed and figurative, but I love to explore color and uh, synchrony of color uh, and how they just balance each other how they look next to each other and this is what i'm doing today as well i do have an image taken from unsplash that is inspired me it's the picture of a forest and there are all these beautiful color that i stop immediately as soon as i saw the picture and uh, it was beautiful and inspiring and this is what i try to represent color light darkness and all of these beautiful harmony i play with watercolor as my base and then i really wanted to try this wax crayon because 
I I didn't remember the feeling of using them, so I wanted to explore. They layer beautifully, so beautifully on the paper. It was actually a pleasure to use them. And also I use a little bit of coloring pencil on top of it and they work really well. Coloring pencil was actually working super well on this paper as well as this uh, wax crayon. Uh, the middle part of the paper was a bit difficult to work on uh, simply because I did add too much water in the beginning and it felt a bit more delicate. I felt like if I was pushing more with the crayon, I would have completely break the paper. So I maintain a light touch, but still I call practice a lot of color combination and color harmony uh, i couldn't just play with shapes and form i really like the end result of this play that we had today i hope you like it too let me know which one is your favorite mixed media combo and what you like to go back to the most. I do plan to have another little play for next week before I leave Italy but who knows life is a bit eclectic right now and I rather don't make any promise but yeah hopefully i'll see you again next week enjoy the rest of the video and thank you so much for watching bye